Hello! We are in a completely different filming setup today. We're in my bedroom because it is really, 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 really dark outside and in my lounge, even with a ring light, it just looked too dark, whereas my bedroom is a very bright room, so we are here. But get down to the point of why we're all here. We are here for an unboxing. I'm gonna be unboxing the April Illumicrate. I think it's the April Illumicrate. I just get lost now, guys, what month we're in. We know by now that these unboxings get a little bit chaotic with me. We know that I'm really bad at guessing what each book is and things like that. I just, I'm not, not great at it. So let's dive in to what's inside. I am a rep for Illumicrate, so I can offer you a 5% discount on the three to six month subscriptions with a Books Nest 5. Okay, the theme is dearly departed. We're gonna put that to the side. I can already see this thing. Is it a tote bag? Probably. Okay, oh no, it's not a tote bag. <laughs> uh, it's a hat. I really like it. So first item is this really nice hat. I'm pretty sure that this is how you're meant to wear it, but it could be like that maybe. I'm not sure, but I like it either way. I think I might wear this out later because it's really rainy. So it's offering good coverage. It does feel like it would really protect me from the rain. And if I don't want to see anyone, I can just do that. So yeah, that works perfectly. I mean, either that or it's one of those book um, things, baskets. You know, I like to think it's a hat. Is it a book basket? maybe. I don't know what book this is inspired by. It says too many books, too few centuries. There is a cat and a crow and some teeth. I don't know, but it's a book basket or funky hat. Okay, we have a masonry jar. It's not a mug. It's a jar. Okay. It says Jack's or Jack, Jackie, Jack's, Jack's restaurant, I think. It's a masonry jar. I like these kind of things. I have this weird thing where I like to be able to see what I'm drinking out of. <laughs> like, I don't like coloured, um, completely coloured uh, drinking implements. <laughs> I like glass, basically. So that's cool. Again, I have no idea what that's inspired by. <laughs> this is a book pot. I have loved the style of previous book pots. This was announced. I don't know what it looks like, but let us find out together. Oh, it's red. I love these, they're very useful for things around the flat. Oh, okay, so on the front it says Book of the Dead. On the side it says Book of the Dead. Under that it says Necromancy, Resurrection and Immortality. Discover the ancient secrets of the underworld. I like it a lot, I love these. So you can just use these as pen pots, you can use these as cutlery pots, you can use them as bookmark pots, or just a pot. Or to go along with your hat, a very stiff glove. Okay, we have also got some magnets of some people. Oh, are these Gideon the Ninth? Have I guessed one? Maybe? Probably not. I don't know, I've not read that book, but it kind of reminded me of the front cover. So there's some magnets. There's also some bookmarks that are double-sided. So we've got these two people, Rova and Japa, and Lydia and, I'm not sure what that one says. Is that a V or a U? J Judge loss. I'm not sure. Pronunciation is not on point here, guys, but we've got two bookmarks there. And we have got the pin, which I'm going to open in a minute because it'll tell me. Oh, wait, I can already see the book. <laughs> we'll open the pin now. Okay, the pin is this little skull that kind of looks cute. Isn't it cute? And that's inspired by the book, which we'll get to because there's also this little key ring with a scythe on it that says something very tiny. I cannot read that. Uh, not the, the light keeps bounding off of it. But there we go, cute. Or is it a little hook? One of the two. And here's the book. Oh, pretty. Ooh, okay, all right, hang on. The book is In the Ravenous Dark by A.M. Strickland. And look at that, stencil edges, very pretty. On the back it says, she loves the prince. She's bound to Aurea, she must betray them both. We have got an author letter on the inside. We we have got these stunning end papers. Beautiful red underneath. Do we have end papers at the back as well? Oh yes, yes they're called end papers. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to tell you what this book is about. In Thanopolis, magic is rare and closely controlled. Those blessed or cursed with power are put under constant guard, assigned to undead spirits who watch their every move. 
Ever since her father died to save her from this fate, Robin has kept her magic a closely guarded secret until an accident exposes her power for the world to see and her tenuous freedom comes crashing to an end. Brought to the royal palace against her will and thrust into a maelstrom of intrigue and deception, Robin is drawn to two people she cannot fully trust. Lydia, a beguiling and rebellious princess, struggling against her own destiny, and Ivralos, Iv okay, that's what it was, the handsome, powerful spirit she has become bound to, who can control Rovan, body and soul. Well, that sounds like a fun time. Together they uncover a terrible secret that could destroy everyone in Thanopolis. The living and the dead, to save them, Rovan will have to start a rebellion in both the mortal world and the underworld, and find a way to trust the princess and the undead spirit vying for her heart, if she doesn't betray them first. Dun dun dun! I really like this. This is very pretty. Okay. So that's the book. Shall we go through who who did what? Okay, I have the spoiler card. So the book pot, this one here, is inspired by ancient Egyptian mythology and this is designed by Chatty Nora. I love this very much. As I said, I find these things very helpful. The Too Many Books organizer, or as we like to call it, the funky hat. This is designed by Ross.Tier. And this is inspired by Nevernight. I was thinking maybe Nevernight, but I've not actually read that book, so I wasn't sure. The Jackie's, Jack, Jackie's Mason Jar Glass is inspired by The Beautiful. There we go. And it is designed by That's Lovely Dear Shop. Cool. Then we have got The Magnus. Oh my God, I was right. I haven't even read the book. I don't even own the book, but it's by Gideon the Ninth. It's inspired by Gideon the Ninth. Yes, and these are designed by underscore Saint Dree. And then we've got the key ring. Uh, I called it a scythe, it's a sickle. I love the fact that my zoom, my focus will focus on tiny things like this, but not big things like books. Anyway, this is designed by Palace of Resin, and this is a quote from Dread Nation. And the pin is designed by Stacey McAvoy Cont, and it is this cute little daisy skull, poppy, poppy skull, apparently. And then we have got the book, which is here. In the Ravenous Dark by A. M. Strickland. This is exclusive sprints, sprints, sprenciled, sprayed stenciled, exclusive stenciled edges, end papers from Lilith Saar and signed book plate. Oh, where's my signed book plate? Okay, I need to find that, but there's a signed book plate as well, apparently. Yay! That was the Illumicrate April box. I forgot to say at the start of this, I am a rep for Illumicrate, so I'm gonna go and edit that in now, <laughs> so you'll have seen it. It'll be added in there. I am a rep for Illumicrate. If you want to get 5% off your three to six month book subscription, you can use my code BOOKSNEST5. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do give it a thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite item was and subscribe to see much more on my feed. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much. There's also a link down below to my Patreon if you want to see any more of this, me. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. So thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling and stay positive.